So now this is just going to be a uh, quick demonstration of a photo doubt. So it looks like an LED right there, but uh, it does not emit light. Light actually falls on it and it conducts uh, more current as more light falls on it. So it's a direct relationship, uh, more light, uh, more current. So we have uh, for when it's conducting too well, I don't know the maximum current it can conduct, but I just put a 510 ohm resistor in series with it to be safe. Uh, if we go up to nine volts. So that resistor sets the maximum current, but below that maximum current, the photodiode will set the current. So it uh, just a diode symbol, usually circled, arrows coming in to indicate that it responds to light coming in. Short lead the cathode, uh, more positive, long lead the anode, more negative. You use it reverse bias. And for the uh, demonstration, we're just gonna look at the current from the power supply where you have a, a flashlight here. So this flashlight actually turns on and off rapidly. So what I'm gonna do is turn on the side light there. And I'm gonna try to get it to five milliamps of current because, uh, there we go, because it responds to light level, not supply voltage. As you can see, I raised the uh, supply voltage. So uh, we're 10 volts, that's kinda high for this resistor, but we have the current limited to uh, five milliamps. And uh, so, the uh, diode is uh, taking up a lot of the heat that is being produced. Uh, so we should be fine going up to 12 as long as we keep the current down about 5 milliamps. But there you can see, it's not the uh, supply voltage that determines the uh, current. It's the uh, light level on the photodiode. As long as uh, we don't get up to the maximum current set by the resistor. But uh, in any case, just a quick demonstration to show we held a current steady. Well, the light level was steady, even though uh, a lot of things changed, mostly the power supply voltage in this case. Um, so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.